and welcome to Sanam's Kitchen. Today's recipe is well, I don't know what to call this, but for the sake of this video, I called it striped donut samosa. And this is a perfect name for this cute fancy snack. So let's start. I'm going to start with by taking 2 cups of all-purpose flour and 2 teaspoon of garam seeds, salt as per taste and quarter cup of oil. We want to combine the flour and the oil very well so that it gets very well incorporated and we want it to blend until when you press it in a fist it should hold its shape like this. So this will make our pastry very very crispy. Now by adding little water at a time I'm going to make a tough dough. The dough should not be soft, it should be little tough uh, and so that our pastries can be very very crispy. So I'm going to rub some oil on it and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile we are going to make the stuffing. So I'm going to heat the oil in a pan. When oil is hot add cumin seeds, coriander seeds, green chilies, ginger paste and chopped onions. Fry for a minute until onions are soft and then add corn and green peas and boil and mashed potato. Along with it dhania jeera powder or cumin coriander powder, garam masala, red chili powder, add salt as per taste. Give a quick mix and I'm going to add half lime, lime juice or you can add more or less as per your taste and I added some sugar. This is option, optional but it gives a really nice sweet and tangy taste to the stuffing. So now turn off the heat and let it rest, let it cool down. So the stuffing is ready and our dough is well rested. So now I'm going to take a small portion, roll it between my palm like this, add, sprinkle some flour and we're going to roll this in a thin sheet. So now I'm going to cut it into a square or rectangular shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just um, somewhat rectangular. Now I'm going to make some cuts just like this on the half of the sheet, not all the way through. So I wanted to leave the edge intact and I'm going to apply some water so that it's easy for me to seal it. Now take the stuffing, roll it into a roll like this. So gently pressing, roll it out like this, seal the edges and we are going to round it like this. And we are going to seal the edges and our striped donut samosa is ready for deep frying. So look how beautiful it looks and it's really novelty, you know, if you get bored with traditional samosas, this is a perfect way to serve the snack really appetizing isn't it so our oil is heating up oil should not be very hot otherwise it will be raw from inside so on a medium flame we are going to fry this until they are nice and golden so perfect golden color now i'm going to drain on a kitchen paper towel and serve it with ketchup or your favorite chutney so I hope you like this recipe, please don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such easy recipes. Thank you for watching, I'll see you with next simple recipe, till then bye bye and enjoy it.